In 2012, various international singers came to perform in Israel, including Madonna and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. This summer, Israeli fans are awaiting American singer Alicia Keys, who will be at last arriving to Israel next week to perform. I think it's great that Alicia Keys is coming to Israel. I think she has many fans here that would love to see her. She's coming to play for her fans. Her show is sold out. Everyone is happy. I have a lot of appreciation for her that she didn't believe the negative hype of Roger Waters and, ev and everyone writing her. And she put it in her own judgment and she, she's a wonderful artist. I think it's going to be a great show. But many artists from abroad face problems when showing interest in coming to Israel. The costs of the trip are a factor to be considered as well as their image. As a producer, why do you find it's difficult to bring artists to Israel? Many times it's, uh, it's very difficult to bring uh, artists to perform here because the, the costs they have are um, enormous just to, get, just to get here. So they ask uh, double or triple the amount of money because they lose a day uh, coming here and they lose a day to go back to Europe and they have the flights, freight, plus the, the cost of their agents, uh, managers and everything. So it may, in most of the cases, it doesn't make any sense. So the ticket prices are higher than they should be. Besides that, there is the um, political aspect. Israel doesn't have like the best reputation in some circles. They might be afraid, like security wise, or they think they're gonna hurt their reputation. Can you give me some examples of performers who have canceled their shows in Tel Aviv? I was supposed to bring Gail Scott Heron a few years ago. Uh, he's a legendary uh, African-American poet. The moment he uh, posted the date on his website, he had like 2,400 comments uh, about this date. Uh, people were telling him, don't go there, it's an apartheid country. Another case I had was uh, an indie band called Tune Yards that uh, we scheduled the show. The show was actually sold out. One day I get, I get a call from the agent saying, we have a problem, we need to cancel the date. I wasn't sure why, but then I Googled it and I found out that like two years earlier, she was really active against Israel. So in that case, at least that's what I assume, she, she wanted to do the show just to cancel it, uh, to show that she's boycotting Israel. Another band I brought was Pains of Being Pure at Heart. The band leader, he said, I'm more afraid to, to, get, electric to, get, uh, to get electric shot in, in my shower than going to Israel. Look in my eyes, I'm coming. And eventually, they, two weeks later, we got, a, we, we got an email, sorry, the band decided to follow the boycott. However, the development in social media has helped decrease the pressure on these artists. Tell me about that. I think one of the main reasons in the last uh, couple of years that uh, this whole cancellation uh, movement uh, actually uh, lost the momentum was because of Facebook. They moved from their uh, regular profile pages to timeline. Before that, uh, all these anti-Israeli movements and boycott organizations, they used to post every few seconds on the artist's wall on Facebook. When you saw it, you say, oh my God, what is going on here? And the moment they move to, uh, to timeline, you can't do it anymore. All the posts are going like aside. It doesn't, it doesn't cause as much attraction. You can easily erase it. And you can see like the, the pressure that could put online is not as it used to be. It's still hard. I mean, I still get many times I get uh, like a, a negative answers. Not everyone must come here. That, that's okay. I, uh, I don't have any problem with bands that decide not to come. My, my main uh, frustration is with bands that are coming and canceling. One of the performers who did not succumb to boycott threats and did decide to arrive here to Israel despite threats on Twitter and other such forms of social media is Alicia Keys, who will soon be on stage in Tel Aviv. Barbara Streisand also performed this month and it was just released that Rihanna too will be surprising her fans here in Tel Aviv this summer. For JN1, I'm Sivan Erviv, Israel.